when the NHL expands and there's a new team coming in, it makes the offseason so much fun, especially leading up to the expansion draft, which by the way, was a huge party in Seattle on both land and water. And the week leading up to that huge party was just crazy. Between the 14th and the 17th, there were 11 trades made. And when the dust settled, Ryan Ellis was a flyer. The Islanders freed up a ton of cap space. And when the trade freeze kicked in, teams started working on their protected players list. Every team, with the exception of the Golden Knights, had to submit their list by the 17th. But the big news was more about who was left off the protected list. Five different players waived their no movement clauses for the expansion draft. And one name not only leaked early, but kind of made Twitter explode. Carey Price. Price waived that no movement clause and made himself available to be selected by the Seattle Kraken. And he did it so the Habs could protect Jake Allen. The hockey world was suddenly divided into two camps. Group number one were saying, you got one of the best goalies in the game available. You take him at all costs. Group number two focused on numbers. Price has a cap hit of $10.5 million for the next five seasons. And he's owed an $11 million bonus this summer, which would fall on Seattle if they decided to choose him. So Mark Bergevin and the Habs were basically banking on all of that just being too rich for Seattle's blood. In other words, they were taking a calculated risk. So what did GM Ron Francis decide? From the Montreal Canadiens, the Seattle Kraken select, Kale Fleury. <laughs> I guess the money did scare them off. The rest of the expansion draft looked like this. Remember, the Kraken had to take a player from each team. Let's break down some of the things that really stood out. And we'll start with the players the Kraken decided not to pick. Vladimir Tarasenko, huge talent, but injuries over the last couple of years and that $7.5 million cap hit may have scared Ron Francis off. Same goes for Matt Duchesne and Ryan Johansson in Nashville, both making over eight mil. All right, let's take a look at some of the new members of the Seattle Kraken. Now that we know Carey Price is staying in Montreal, let's look at who will most likely be between the pipes when the season kicks off. And that's 27-year-old Chris Drieger. His numbers last season were good, and he won't need to battle with Sergei Bobrovsky for starts. And 3.5 million for the next three years seems like a pretty acceptable number for an expansion team. Perhaps the biggest name selected was Mark Giordano. The Flames captain is three years removed from winning the Norris Trophy. Yeah, I know, he's 38 years old, but every dressing room needs a leadership group, and that's probably where he will fall in. Up front, the Kraken have a healthy mix of physicality and youth, but for me, the name that really jumps out is the player the Kraken took from the Colorado Avalanche. Oh man, we took uh, Jonas Demskali. <laughs> the name Sean Kemp was aiming for there was Jonas Donskoy. Obviously, Seattle would have loved to have taken UFA Gabriel Landeskog from Colorado, but according to reports, they couldn't agree on a number. But Donskoy scored a career-high 17 goals last season and was on one of the most potent power plays in hockey. And by the way, the Avs will probably take that $3.9 million he was owed over the next two seasons and roll that into an offer to try to keep Gabriel Landeskog. So there you have it. The first pieces of the Kraken are in place, and even more to come with the draft this weekend where the Kraken hold the number two pick. Told you it was a lot of fun. 